Hey, what's up guys, Modded HD here, and welcome to this FIFA 14 career mode screenshot impressions video, and EA last week released some screenshots on what might be the new FIFA 14 career mode interface, and there it is on the screen right now, and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be talking about my impressions on it, uh, aesthetically and what features have been introduced uh, from what we can see on the screen so let's get this underway and you see in this first screen shot right here we have the central tab and you can recognize already that we uh, hit up with pretty much what was found in the Streamline Ultimate Team in FIFA 13. As you see, we got the tabs, and we got the over the top. We got the scrolling, and we got uh, also uh, the uh, somehow the uh, uh, the EFC uh, club stuff has made it all the way up to the top of the screen. It's going up in the world, lads, and uh, you see there it's up there. So. Uh, right now, looking at the screen, we have pretty much what we saw already. I mean, uh, it's pretty much in tabs. It's gone all that Microsoft style. I don't know what it is with boxes and people. It's just everyone wants to have a, a square or a rectangle. It's just uh, no no more squirrely stuff. It's getting more serious and into it. So uh, we got this. And uh, really, we've got the the play match, we've got the sim match, and we got this new thing called the uh, Global Scouting Network. And now this is a brand new thing that EA are bringing into FIFA 14, hopefully. And uh, I'll explain a bit later because there is a screenshot of that. Uh, but that's taking taking up a massive chunk of the screen. And then you got the RSS feed as well. That was pretty much in FIFA 13 uh, as well, and pretty much all of them, uh, where you get to see all the latest news. And you see they've kind of minimised that. I don't even look at the news on the uh, FIFA 13. I just don't give two flying monkeys. Uh, we've got the table as well. You see Man United, as always, EA favouring them. They always win the league and uh, stuff like that. Can uh, really favouritism all the way. And you got the uh, the bigger RS feed as well with the preview Spurs versus Chelsea, a big rivalry. And uh, there we go. But also you can notice as well something massive that they've done. They've cut out the flipping emails when you advance every time. It's just the most stupidest thing I have ever seen. And they finally got rid of this. You see there on the office tab it says 5 and that obviously means that you have five me five emails in the inbox, and it said that in the details that they released. And uh, thank God, I mean that was the most annoying thing ever. You can't go anywhere uh, without reading them emails, or you can't read them. It's simple as that. Why can't you just pull out your phone, bring up your email? It's, it's just the most stupidest thing ever. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I have uh, something else to say. I don't know what the uh, little squares or the circles are I think it's sort of a scrolling thing it's gonna automatically scroll uh, but you'll see on another page that there's loads more uh, which are found all over the page so let's flick on to the next screenshot right then guys here we are and we're on to the scout report uh, screenshot that they released and you see there Gabriel Obertam making a feature wow wow wee wow how did he make it onto here but the scouting uh, the new scouting uh, network is going to be working uh, to really help you uh, find these little gems instead of sort of looking for these youth players it, through the scouting network you're going to be looking at actual players that are in the game not, not being randomly generated and you see here we have a very nice layout and you're going to be sending out a scout as you would in real life if you were a manager of a football team to go in observe and spectate a player uh, not in a sort of a pedo -y way but uh, to watch them and see understand uh, whether they have the ability and whether they fit the mold of what you want in your team of course they've said that you, there's going to be many different sort of select options that you're going to get to choose when it comes to it, um, you've got the sort of a pacey player or a um, sort of a playmaker, stuff like that. You've seen it all before in sort of FIFA 13. I've seen it on sort of the, the PS Vita as well that you can sort of put scouts in, but it's all generic. It's all all over the place. But this is more uh, into, into the mold that we need, I think. And uh, another great thing about this was that you can do this anytime. You don't have to be in the transfer window anymore to do... 
all this transfer stuff. Everyone loves transfers. It's just the thing that revolves around the game that just makes it so much better. And uh, really in FIFA 13 you just can't wait. Uh, well, FIFA in general, you just can't wait for that transfer day. And uh, uh, it really is the greatest day. Uh, well, the greatest month of your lives. Um, uh, every year, or well, uh, twice every year. But you see here, we've got Gabriel Obertani. You see that he has some stats on the screen. I'm a bit bewildered by the stats on the screen. I mean, why would his stats change? Can you not go onto the transfer market and look at his stats? Are they uh, got question marks over them? I'm not totally sure yet. Uh, it's going to be a chance of uh, waiting and seeing whether they release some more stuff into this uh uh, scout re scout reporting, but it looks a lot neater, and I got to say that they've they've got a chance of changing the view, and I love sort of player uh player sort of input, and you can change the view, so it makes it easier for you. And you see, they've got this square tabbing again; it's just all over the place, and uh, uh it's <laughs> it's getting very popular. Uh, around here, but you see we've got players this um all this sort of uh stats and stuff is not what is gonna probably be in the end game uh when they do finish it it's just all stuff been randomly put in there just for uh just for show and it's not gonna be the end stats so I don't think in overtan is gonna have ninety nine defending because I bet he doesn't uh in the uh end of it, but also you got tabs as well we've got the attackers. The uh, midfielders, defenders, goalkeepers, that just keeps it nice and tidy as well. Uh, not making it all uh, befuddled as, as it would in FIFA 13 if you went on to the new new shortlist. It would be all over the place. Goalkeepers, uh, you couldn't sort it. It was all random. It was just not uh, that neat even though it was so useful that you could all com <coughs> excuse me, uh, could combine them. It still was really messy, so it's nice to see that they're they're looking to look at different features. And uh, really, if I want to go out and go and go and get a player, then obviously I'm going to look at my scout. And uh, one for, one more thing to mention uh, is the wage as well, 50k. I'm not totally sure whether that's the wage you have in the club or that's how much you're playing this guy, Matt Miles. I guess uh, I, I guess his name is that. Uh, but if that is, that means they're going into more depth and maybe you've got to pay um, uh, different people. Maybe there's going to be the, the bring back of stadium managers. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, really, if we have to pay scouting uh, scouts that much amount of money, then, then we're going to be bankrupt. But of course, it's all going to be, uh, it's all been put in uh, for show. Uh, I'm not totally sure whether it's going to be for the for the player wages or for uh, scouting wages. But if it is, then they're looking for a more in depth, and you got to be more cautious. You're gonna be uh, you got to be sorting out. You got to be budgeting and stuff like that, which is great because they're looking to develop a greater depth into FIFA career mode. So anyway, let's hop on to the last screenshot that has been released. Alrighty guys, now on to the last screenshot and you see here we have the squad sheet and I've got to say I'm pretty pleased with this. I mean, uh, I hate that in most of the FIFAs you had to go into the actual squad the the team management to find out someone's fitness why would you why why would i want to do that when i can easily look at a photo on the screen and uh, see that someone is not fitness uh, at the right fitness and needs to be rested uh, aka Vertonghen or Lennon you're going to be taking them out of the squad unless unless you want them to get injured uh, which is kind of bad but it, it's great that they've looked at that and said we, we're going to go with that ultimate team feel okay ultimate team it wasn't that customizable but obviously uh, with these little uh, dots uh, which I hope I can highlight on the screen uh, that you can see in the bottom right of the uh, each of the tabs. Uh, hopefully that's going to be able to look at their morale uh, bar. Uh, it's going to be able to look at their sort of form bar. It's going to be great to see uh, what players uh, are going to be uh, sort of going well and which are not. I, I mean, it's it's kind of hard to do that when you got to go into a team management. you got to come out. you got to go in. It's kind of all sort of jerky like that and it's not very nice. 
Uh, but uh, a very nice ad by EA there. Uh, club squad, I guess that's pretty much the general sort of thing. Uh, just looking at your whole squad. Squad report as always being OP as anything. Green uh, exclamation marks. I love them green exclamation marks. Absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, formations, I don't know what they're going to be doing on the scrolly bit. I guess the images might change a bit. I'm not totally sure. International squad, pretty much your same old. Uh, we get, you're going to be able to look at the actual squad now without having to go into that massive uh, to, to click on that international tab and then you go into a different screen. It's going to be more uh, compact in that way and a lot easier and uh, friendly to use for the player. But international squad se selection as well, not too uh, uh, big on that either. And kit numbers as well, everyone likes to customize their. Uh, numbers for everyone so they have the right numbers if new players come in you can name them your new number nine the new striker and stuff like that so my impressions is that uh, currently it looks aesthetically well I'm not going to say anything on the gameplay because I haven't played the gameplay yet it's just simple as that I'm not going to say anything about the gameplay uh, whether it's going to be uh, good or not because we, we can't really say that until s people start playing the game and that won't be till uh, probably Eurogamer. I'm not totally sure whether the uh, big FIFA guys will be going out. But anyway guys, uh, my imp impressions is that it looks aesthetically well, it looks bright, it looks sexy and uh, I, I'm sure that it's going to uh, catch an eye when it comes uh, to the actual game coming out and uh, of course it's not finished yet it's not a finished product but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video of me giving my impressions on the FIFA 14 uh, screenshot uh, releases hopefully they're going to be a lot more so I can do some more videos and uh, we can get more ideas on what's going to be coming from career mode because it is becoming the best mode on the game and ultimate team I feel is dropping off a bit uh, but anyway guys uh, if you did enjoy this video if you want to see me do a um, the actual in-game stuff that they released there's some screenshots done and there's some details as well do you want me to go over that then leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to do something about the uh, sort of in-game in features of the whole game uh, the uh, the sort of some pure shot stuff is uh, coming out um, which is sounds pretty awesome and we're gonna get some some spin on the ball finally uh, after so many years of finesse shots going like curveballs absolutely every time. So anyway guys, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.